Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to the 100 subscribers special. As you've probably seen by the title, I'm creating 100 sims to celebrate the 100 subscriber milestone that I reached a while back now. Because I only started working on this video after I reached 100 subscribers. So... It took me a while. <laughs> I have over five hours of footage in this video. Obviously, it's sped up a lot and edited down and everything. So it's not it's not a five hour long video, don't worry. <laughs> but it's it took me a while. And then it needed to go through handbrake, and that took like more hours and it's been a while now. I'm actually already at 124 subscribers as I'm recording this. So thank you so much. Oh my god. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I'm pretty new at this stuff. So having people support me means a lot to me. Uh, and it's just amazing that I've already reached 100 subscribers. 124 already. I'm like a quarter of the way to 200 subscribers already. And that's just, just insane. <laughs> So to celebrate, I'm creating 100 sims, like I said. <laughs> also, I just want to say for a second that I am sort of ill right now. Um, I was way worse yesterday, like I feel pretty good today, but I still have a pretty bad cold. So that's why my voice might sound a little different. I'm, I hope I'm still understandable enough. I'll try to pronounce things very clearly, but yeah, just thought you might want to know why my voice sounds different today um and yesterday oh my god that video <laughs> from yesterday i tried to record that voiceover but i was so miserable and like really tired so it wasn't really like i didn't know what to say anymore and i couldn't speak english so that was a mess but i wanted to put out a video anyway <coughs> sorry you might hear that more often i'll warn you right now <laughs> uh, but anyway as you can see i'm not uh, doing all of the outfits i actually did start doing all of the outfits for the first 25 sims but i cut that out because it's just way too much time this video is already like 30 minutes long and i didn't want to bore you so um i'm only creating their everyday outfit um and like from 25 to 100 i only created their everyday outfits so these sims will be uploaded to the gallery but as I said, I didn't even look at their other outfits, so you might want to change some things up if you do want to use one of these sims. They don't have a theme, they're just random sims. I just created whatever I wanted to. Uh, for the first 25 sims or something like that, I um, basically just used the first 25 hairstyles and made a sim inspired by that. Like, I changed their face to fit the hairstyle. Normally, I do it the other way around, but I thought it would be a fun thing. And then I just started creating random sims. I did like a whole boys household, a child, children household, a teen household. I did one literally just randomly just clicking the um, dice or die. Is, isn't die like the single thing of... I don't know. I read that somewhere and I'm not sure. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to be talking about these sims much in this video since they are just random sims and there's not much about them to discuss and they go by really quickly so i don't think i can say much about them uh, they're just different sims in different say, skin colors and sizes and i just wanted to sort of include everyone um sort of I, I just wanted it to feel like i made every single one of my subscribers <laughs> like you can watch this video and be like hey she kind of looks like me or he kind of looks like me I don't know. I just thought that was a fun thing. So to start off, I wanted to ask you this question because obviously I've made over 100 videos. So you might know a little bit about me, but I don't know much about you. So I thought like a fun thing we could do is give yourself traits. So give yourself three traits from the Sims, um, any Sims. It's like the Sims 3 or 4 or 2 or 1 or whatever. Uh, <laughs> to describe yourself. And you can leave that in the comments if you want to. And that way we can get to know each other a little more. Um, I guess it's hard for me. Or I guess for everyone. Because obviously like a real human being can't be described in just three traits. I can think of a lot of traits that would fit me. But I guess childish would be one. Um, ambitious. I think I'm pretty ambitious and creative or a music lover or, um, yeah, 
I guess something like that. Something creative would be something to describe me. I like starting my own like art projects or I don't know. I, I feel like making videos is creative. So these kind of projects or like starting a Tumblr blog or I don't know. One day I decided that I wanted to learn how to draw that didn't go well, but you know, I sort of like doing those kind of things. I also make music, I sing, I... Yeah, I, I think I'm a creative person. So let me know what kind of person you are by describing yourself using three traits from The Sims. Okay, so I have a pretty hilarious story from like Christmas, the first Christmas day, Christmas day. Um, something that happened at the place we went to, the restaurant we went to, to have dinner. Uh, with my family, one side of my family at least. Um, it was pretty hilarious. I wanted to tell you about this earlier, but I didn't really have the time in any of my videos. So I thought a 30 minute video would probably be a good time to tell this story. Okay, so we went to this pretty fancy place. And if you know me, you probably know that I'm not um, a big fan of fancy food. I'm a pretty picky eater, so I don't really like... I, I don't, I'm not really a fan of most meats. Um, I'm thinking of going vegetarian again. I was a vegetarian for about one year at some point, but I quit. But I'm thinking of becoming a vegetarian again, but I'm not really like a big fan of different sort of meats. And at these fancy places, they do use like stuff that I don't really eat. So that was difficult. So for my main course, um, I ordered the vegetarian option which was described as and let me let's try to translate this because obviously it was in Dutch um, I'm pretty sure it was like the the title of the main course keep in mind that this was the main course <laughs> the title was carrot and pumpkin like those were the main ingredients because that was the title and yeah and then the like subtitle the description was sort of um, prepared in different ways. So we had pumpkin and carrot prepared in different ways. <laughs> and I will put a picture on the screen right now of what I got <laughs> when they br brought out the food. This is what was placed in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we didn't stop laughing for the entire night because the only thing I got was basically one carrot. Just one carrot. And I was like, did they forget the pumpkin? So at one point my mom was like, let's just call someone and ask them if they forgot the pumpkin. Or, you know, if that's not all, maybe I should have gotten like a side dish sort of thing. So she was like, where's the pumpkin? And do you see that little like orange line next to the carrot yeah that's the pumpkin <laughs> just that that's that's all <laughs> i thought that was like some sort of dressing but no it wasn't that was a main ingredient it was hilarious not okay by the way like compared to the other dishes on the table that this was not even like close to that sort of size so it wasn't okay that i got this but it was pretty funny <laughs> It was one of the funniest moments of my life. Like, I seriously, I was in tears laughing about the fact that I just got one carrot. That was it. <laughs> oh, and um, if you see me pausing during this video, I tried to edit everything out. But sometimes I do... Probably, there's probably at least one moment that I pause in this because I couldn't possibly have caught all of that. Um, that's because I was mostly, like, watching movies or, like, series, TV shows or whatever. Um during the, the the making of the sims <laughs> what <laughs> that sounds like it's not behind the scenes no uh why i was making these sims because you know making 100 sims can get pretty boring after a while i like making sims and <coughs> sorry um you know when i started this i was like yeah no i love making sims this is going to be easy 100 sims i have i've done it in the past uh, it was pretty boring so i did ended up watching some movies and stuff while making these sims you can imagine uh five hours of just making sims can get pretty boring <laughs> so that's why i pause sometimes because i'm distracted by what's ever whatever is happening on the screen or maybe someone went up to me and talked to me or something like a family member you know, that sort of thing. 
Okay, um, I found some question things on Tumblr. I'm going to answer because I need things to talk about in this video. Um, let's start with my Hogwarts house. I'm a Hufflepuff. Surprisingly, I thought I would be a Slytherin or Ravenclaw, but I am a Hufflepuff, which the Pottermore test has told me many times. I took that like five times and every single time I came out as a Hufflepuff. So I am a Hufflepuff, which I'm really, really happy about because that is my favorite house and I'm really glad that I am a Hufflepuff. I didn't think I would be, but maybe like my best part of me is a Hufflepuff. Uh, favorite color is pink, favorite animal. Um, that probably changes every single day, but I'm going to say panda right now. Um, average hours of sleep, like last year it was like three hours a night, but I'm guessing like eight, probably like eight. The time right now, um, it's... I'm not going to try to do that because I'm bad at doing times in English. Uh, cat or dog person, both. I, I, I can never choose. I love those. I love them both. But I'm guessing... I would say that I'm a dog person more just because I have owned a dog for, I don't know, eight years or something like that. So... I'm going to say dog person. Uh, favorite fictional character? Um, oh, I don't know. I love so many fictional characters. Um, m maybe I can think of something later, but I can't think of anything right now. Uh, number of blankets I sleep with, uh, like 50. <laughs> as many as I can find at that moment in time. I mostly like sleeping with two in winter at least. Um, so like right now. But... I can only find one right now, so I'm sleeping with one, but mostly like, I don't know, five, no, two, two, I guess, two is a good number. Favorite singer or band? Um, Taylor Swift. Dream trip? I would really like to go back to Disney World right now. That's my dream trip at this moment. I would also really like to visit Japan. Um, yeah, there's many places I would like to visit, but... At this moment, if I wanted to go somewhere right now, it would probably be, probably be Disney World, a dream job, this or something with music involved, anything. Okay, so I found something else which says shuffle the music on your phone and like show the first 10 songs you get. Spoiler alert, it will probably be, probably be Taylor Swift and Hamilton. Okay, first song, I Know Places by Taylor Swift from the 1989 album. First one, okay, second one. Everything Has Changed by Taylor Swift and Ed Sheeran. Like I said, <laughs> more Taylor Swift. Uh, third one, this, nope, that's a voice thing. 22 by Taylor Swift. <laughs> uh, fourth one, Cold As You, Taylor Swift. This is going great. Nope, that's a voice thing. All too well, Taylor Swift. Which, what number am I on? Like five? Okay, six. I'm going to say six. That's not something that's a background. That's a voiceover a, a thing. Oh, Hamilton, who lives, who dies, who tells your story. Um, Hamilton, that would be enough. So this is going to be nine. Darling by Avril Lavigne. That's something else. And ten... Nope, that's not anything. Give Me Love by Ed Sheeran. Okay, so we had two different artists than Hamilton and Taylor Swift in this entire lift. List, lift, list. <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> I thought it would be funny anyway. I listened back to that clip and I realized that I had one... Um, not enough. Like I had nine instead of ten. So the last one... I have right here, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I think that sums up my music taste pretty well. Taylor Swift, Hamilton, Ed Sheeran, and Christmas music. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty good summary of my, my music taste. Uh, <laughs> I guess, yeah, no, that, that's it. <laughs> um, I was, when I said no, 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 it's not because I wanted to hide something. It's just because I have like voiceover clips from videos and uh, background music for videos on my phone, like accidentally, because I they open in iTunes automatically and then they upload to my phone, which I don't want, but it happens. So that's not really like an interesting thing to tell you. This is a voiceover clip from one of my videos that you might have already seen um, or not. Why not? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, of course. Okay, so I have more questions, and these are apparently sweets questions. I don't know. It's literally, I'm literally just randomly scrolling through 
um, Tumblr. Okay, uh, what kind of things do you like with honey? Mint tea. That's the best thing ever with honey. Um, I, gu I guess it's more like mint tea with honey and not the other way around, but whatever. Also, I like it in my... Can't pronounce that name. Never mind. Okay, white chocolate, milk chocolate, or dark chocolates. White chocolate all the way. Favorite thing ever. I am a really big fan of milk chocolate too, though. But white chocolate, white chocolate, white chocolates. Even though if you give me like the option in the supermarket if I wanted to, like a milk chocolate thing or a white chocolate thing, I'd probably go for a milk chocolate thing just because we have like better combinations, like you know, like things stuffed into the chocolate here in the Netherlands. Um, what strawberry flavored sweet or dessert is the best? We have this strawberry pie sort of thing in the Netherlands. I'm not sure how to ex describe that or translate it or uh, whatever, but I, that's the best. Do you prefer fruit or candy? Probably fruit. I'm not like a big candy fan. I like it, but I've never, I'm never like, oh, I'm really craving candy right now. Um, it's like if someone offered me candy, I'm like, yeah, sure, <laughs> I like it. Um, but yeah, I do. I, I think I like fruit better. Um, I'm not a healthy person, by the way. Like with everything else, I choose the junk food, like unhealthy stuff over the healthy stuff. But apparently I like fruit better. Um, when you see a yellow candy, do you expect it to be lemon or banana? Lemon, because we don't have a lot of banana, banana, but whatever flavors in the Netherlands. I think the only ones are literally shaped as a banana, which, you know, you you'd expect it to be banana flavored if it was shaped like one, but mostly I expect it to be lemon. What's your favorite kind of ice cream? Italian. <laughs> That's a really weird answer to that question, um, but yeah. That's the best ice cream. Uh, what kind of watermelon flavored sweet or dessert is the best? I really don't like watermelon flavored anything. Like artificially watermelon flavored or whatever. I prefer the real watermelon because I'm a really big watermelon fan. Especially in the winter. Like, oh, winter? Summer, obviously. <laughs> especially in the summer, I'm a big fan of watermelon. Um, I can eat like an entire water watermelon in a day and I'm like good to go although my brother recently made a watermelon cocktail which is not really you know that's not really a sweet or dessert but it was pretty good i don't really drink like alcoholic things often but sometimes i make an exception um <laughs> and then i drink a, a little bit like just a sip not a lot drink responsibly kids um <laughs> have you ever tried a candy or dessert from another country what was it like yes very often um we have some stuff here like we have a lot of stuff from different countries in our own supermarkets here uh, but i've also traveled to a lot of places recently like most recently to america um very sweet if we're talking america delicious and you look at it like it's the most disgusting thing ever because it's just too fat and probably way too sweet and then you eat it and it's the most delicious thing ever and i'm like this is not good for me but i'm going to eat more <laughs> um what's the next question heart get heart candy or gummies uh gummies peach flavored or orange flavored orange cherry flavored or strawberry flavored um i like both probably strawberry chocolate favored or coffee or coffee flavored chocolates um i hate coffee like coffee in general or like the flavored stuff so probably coffee flavored chocolate because that would be less horrible um would you eat spicy candy have you ever before what was it and did you enjoy it no i've never had spicy candy before probably won't because i'm not a fan of spicy food i'm sort of warming up to it a little i'm trying more stuff i'm cooking for myself so i'm sort of like getting used to more spice but i don't think i would ever be I don't know. I don't think that's something for me. Sour candy or sweet candy? Sour. What's your worst candy to get on Halloween? We don't really do Halloween here, so I don't know. But um, 
I'm guessing like something healthy because I know some people get like oranges and I'm like, no, <laughs> no, 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 that's not what Halloween is about. Why are you torturing children? What's your favorite kind of cake? I'm not really a big fan of like um, very, I don't know how to explain this, like very creamy cakes. Uh, that's not really a good thing. Um, I really like cupcakes. That's probably a good thing, like cupcakes or like just a standard like cake with icing on the outside. I, I like those. Um, and a lot of things like fruit pies. I like really like fruit stuff. Um, what's your favorite kind of dessert in general? White chocolate ice cream. Uh, and what's one dessert that you've never tried but you would love to? Ooh, that's a hard question. I don't know. A general, genuine, not whatever. Um, <laughs> it's so difficult for me to speak right now. I'm like really, really trying to pronounce things right, and it's just not working. Um, like speaking Dutch is difficult for me right now. Uh, English is pretty much impossible. I'm, I'm, I really hope that I'm like understandable enough. I'm scared that this is like one big pile of what is she even saying if that's the case let me know and i will try to add subtitles to the video so you know what i'm saying okay so i'm going to do one more question thing and then i'm going to uh, talk about reaching 100 subscribers for a second <laughs> which this video is about okay are you a tidy or messy person messy but i wish i was a tidy person do you want to have kids in the future no no i don't what makes you feel at home Wi-Fi? <laughs> Would you rather live surrounded by nature or in a big city? Um, I like the idea of living in a big city, but um, I think nature. I think I would be happier surrounded by nature. Spa day or Netflix day? Netflix day any day, please. I would never go to a spa. That's not really my thing. Uh, what mythical creature do you think you would be? I mean, I would love to be a unicorn. I don't think I am, but I'm going to say unicorn because I can. Are you a Christmas person? Yes, yes I am. What's your favorite flower? I don't have one. Are you a daydreamer? I think so. Uh, do you believe in true love and soulmates? Not really. I don't think you are meant for one person. I think you can have like true love sort of thing but not just with one person i think you can have true love with many people if you want to uh what relaxes you uh, watching disney movies um do you want to get any tattoos um i guess i don't think i will ever actually do it but like small tattoos i really like uh what's your favorite season and why that changes every single year i used to say winter but i think summer eh. That's like my old me would get mad at me for saying that, but I think it's I think it's it's summer now. <laughs> what scares you the most? I don't know. So many things scare me. I don't even know what um, scares me the most. Uh, have you ever had a crush on a teacher? No, 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 no never. Uh, do you have a sweet tooth? Yes. Baths or showers? Um, um, I used to say baths, but I think showers now. I like both though. Are you an animal lover? Yes, I love animals. They're so cute. I want all of them. Um, do you think you are a good friend? Um, I'm fr pretty stubborn, so I don't think I'm the best friend you can have. Uh, have you ever had a summer romance? No, I haven't. And that's it. That's it for the questions. <laughs> we also already moved on to our last household. Uh, almost last household. The There's one more after this, but I only create four sims in that one. Oh my god. Who knew that this video would actually end at some point? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I'm actually amazed at how short I got this. I thought it would be at least like 50 minutes, but 26, that's that's pretty good. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to talk about why I created 100 Sims. Um, first reason being, it's just, I don't know, I thought it would be a fun thing to do. I wanted to do a one, at least one special video for 100 subscribers because Obviously, that's a really big thing, reaching your first real subscriber milestone. I did do like a little thank you post for 50 subscribers of 100 subscribers. Oh my god, thank you so much again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's amazing. Um, but also another thing is 
People often have like trouble visualizing a number, like 100 people. You can be like, okay, well, 100 people have sus subscribed to me. Okay, well, whatever, it's 100 people. But when you create 100 sims, you can sort of imagine there, there being an actual 100 people. Like these are 100 sims or 100 people. So it's like a good thing to visualize that number. Like it's a good thing to sort of visualize um, the number of subscribers that you do have. Um, to I don't know it's it's just it's on the screen is just a number but it's a good thing to remember that these are actual people and uh, actual people who decided to support you and decided that they wanted to watch more of my channel that's that's amazing that people actually want to watch more of the things I create I started this I don't know like a couple of months ago and I was fully aware that there would be a chance that no one except my family members and friends would ever see those videos which is fine but I have videos over 500 views right now and I have more than 100 subscribers I am on my way to 200 and if this can happen who knows what can happen in the future so i just want to thank you for supporting my channel for watching my videos for watching this video if you made it this far into the video congratulations you're not dead right now um <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video um and as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you very soon goodbye